Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how you can send your cryptocurrencies from Binance, a cryptocurrency exchange, to your hardware wallet. And I will use a Ledger um, Flex, however you can use any Ledger you want. Um, the hardware wallet manufacturer Ledger is also um, the market leader in terms of hardware wallets, so most people actually use a Ledger. And um, the software is always the same, so it's basically always the same steps. Um, however, you should make sure that you buy your hardware wallet on the website of the manufacturer because in the past there were cases where um, hardware wallets were manipulated that were sold on eBay or other marketplaces. So make sure you get it from the uh, manufacturer itself. I will put down a link in the description. So once you have that, um, you obviously need a Binance account and some money there that you can send to your ledger, to your hardware wallet. So in order to send money to your hardware wallet, um, you need the money in your Binance Spot wallet. Um, if it is in your future wallet or margin wallet or in any other wallet, you need to transfer it to your Spot wallet. And you can do that here. And it's obviously free to transfer it between the different Binance wallets. Once you have that, you can basically click on withdraw and then you can withdraw any coin you want. So we can withdraw, for example, USDC, or we could also use um, like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Um, however, we will do it with USDC here. And then you basically need to go into your Ledger Live app, open it, and then you need to go under accounts. And as you can see, I have a Bitcoin account here, an Ethereum account. And if I would send Ethereum to that Ledger, I would just click on Ethereum and click on Receive. Then I need to confirm it on the Ledger and basically the Ledger Live app will show me an address where I can send the Ethereum to. However, um, we want to receive USDC here and it's not in the accounts list. So I have to add it. I click on add account and then I can basically choose any um, crypto asset that is supported by Ledger, which are basically most of the crypto assets. And I will choose USDC um, and here USDC is on the Ethereum layer one chain, as you can see here. Um, if you would go down that list, you can also see USDC on Polygon and on some other changes, uh, blockchains. And we will do it on or we will send it on the Ethereum chain. So we select that and then we basically click on receive and we will continue. And then it's basically waiting for my device. So I need to unlock it. I need to type in my pin in order to unlock it. And then I can go to retry, open the Ethereum app. And then you can see um, it shows me an USDC, it shows me an address here on the Ethereum blockchain where I can send the USDC to. So I copy that address and paste it here. Um, just make sure that you compare the last few digits or the last few digits and the first few digits if they match. And then you also need to confirm it here on the ledger. It also shows you the address. So you need to confirm that's basically the address you just copied and paste it in here. And we can confirm that. And then you need to select the network and we selected USDC on the Ethereum chain. So we select Ethereum here and then we can basically send as much as we want. So we can basically send all of it and then we just click on withdraw and then um, we need to confirm it and it will basically send our USDC to our um, ledger. However, um, here you have to know it doesn't, or most of the times it doesn't send the USDC or any other cryptocurrency immediately. It always depends on the exchange. Sometimes they send it within seconds, sometimes it takes minutes, and sometimes it takes hours until they send it. And um, so you really have to um, check here on the status and if it's pending or if it's completed. If it's completed, they basically send it. And as soon as I send it, um, you will see it in your Ledger hardware wallet. That's it's basically pretty straightforward. And if you want to send it back, so let's say you want to send Ethereum back, 
we just click on send and then we need to give them an address where we want to send it to just select the coin ethereum on which network on the ethereum network and then we can basically send it to the exchange just type it in here and then we need to confirm it that's the right address and then we can basically send it so it's pretty straightforward and you can always test it and with like a small amount and there's a minimum deposit with most exchanges however you can like send five or ten dollars um, at first to check it out if it works and if it gets there and safe you can send the rest so it's pretty straightforward if you have any questions about it please feel free to use the comments down below if you find that video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching